prevent news of the discovery from spreading. For the select few that were actually connected to the wreckage, and for those who saw it, they were quickly silenced. They were told to tell a completely different story, and then the rest was completely covered up. This is actually the third time Marshall has reportedly acted to conceal the presence of extraterrestrials. One year earlier, he coordinated the retrieval of one of the most controversial spacecraft ever to fall to Earth. Unsealed case file. The Roswell Incident. Roswell, New Mexico, July 7th, 1947. A strange craft crashes near the small town in the American Southwest. Military from the Roswell base rush to the scene, but civilian witnesses have already arrived. The wreckage is recovered, and what appear to be alien bodies are removed from the crash site. George Marshall takes command of the situation. Even though the story has leaked that a UFO has crashed, a cover story is put forth. Once again, his official statement is that it's nothing more than a weather balloon. But that isn't the only similarity. The size and shape of the burned being recovered from the Laredo crash is generally that of a monkey. After World War II, the burgeoning American space program was known to use rhesus monkeys as laboratory animals in experimental aircraft, often with fatal results. Just six days before the Laredo UFO crash, the White Sands Proving Ground launched a monkey in a V-2 rocket, the first primate in space. But this monkey was not the one found at Laredo. It had come down to Earth the same day, after six minutes and 39 miles. It had suffocated during the flight. NASA vigorously denies any connection between UFO reports and lab monkey experiments in space. But the photographer alleges that he had been present during the field autopsy of the charred being in 1948. And that autopsy confirms the body is not of this world. A year earlier in 1947, at least four extraterrestrial biological entities were retrieved from the Roswell crash site, fitting the same physiological profile as the Laredo alien. They will become known as the Greys, an alien race that will be linked to more reports of terrifying abductions than any other. The situation is escalating. Two incidents involving the same species have occurred in less than a year. Is America facing an invasion by the Greys? And if so, what does the government intend to do about it? Marshall reportedly sets up a task force to investigate the rash of alien activity. This group will come to be known as Majestic 12, one of the most top secret groups in government history. The Majestic 12 are set to control all top secret UFO crashes and their recovery. At the time, their movements and research are ultra top secret, even beyond the control of the president. By the mid 1950s, Experts claim they have been rear-engineering alien technology retrieved from such famous UFO crashes as Roswell and Laredo. But many ufologists believe Majestic 12's most chilling secret is that they have been communicating with aliens. Ten years later, Marshall has stepped down as Secretary of Defense. Dwight D. Eisenhower is now President. And Majestic 12 has made contact with the alien greys. A meeting is reportedly arranged between the greys and President Eisenhower to discuss peace between worlds. Now, there was a meeting, supposedly, that took place in 1957 at Holdeman Air Force Base. And this was with the greys. In that meeting, supposedly, there was some sort of treaty that was signed whereby they could take some humans for abduction and experimentation, but they had to be returned safely. In exchange, the Greys would give us some technology. What did Eisenhower allegedly ask of the alien Greys he met? And what did they ask for in return? Coming up, we reveal the shocking details of Eisenhower's agreement and a photo leaked to the public threatening to expose the biggest alien conspiracy
conspiracy in history. This is Unsealed Alien Files. Expo.